Hmm. What's, what's, hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. And your health and strength is good. What's up, Xbox nerds? PC nerds? Steam Deck nerds? What's up with it? <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> uh, just found it. This this article here on um. Found, found this article here on uh, PC game PC gamers PC magazine. So, so to all you uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1 users, your time has come. <laughs> your time has come. I'm sitting here playing around. Look, um, Microsoft is ditching. Microsoft, found this article. Listen to this. Microsoft OneDrive is ditching Windows 7, Windows 8, and 8.1. So it's time to upgrade. Got to go to Windows 10, or better yet, Windows 11, because Windows 11 is almost um, a month, a month old right now. Okay, came out on October the 5th, so it's almost a month, almost a month old. But anyway, time to upgrade, people. It says here the cloud storage platform will drop support for older version of Windows in early 2022. Mm. So if you let's say let's say you got a uh, you know what? Let me let me say my thought. Let me go through this. Listen to this. Microsoft is giving some Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 users another reasons to upgrade to a newer version of the operating system. The company has announced that its OneDrive cloud storage platform will start will start to drop support for those older versions of Windows in early 2022. In order to focus resource on new technologies and operating system and provide users with the most up-to-date and secure experience beginning beginning January 1st 2022 updates will no longer be provided for OneDrive desktop application on your personal Windows 7 8 and 8.1 devices Microsoft said in a blog post on the change personal OneDrive desktop applications running on these operating systems will stop syncing to to the cloud on March 1st, 2022. Hmm. So it says here, uh, Microsoft, Microsoft advice, no, Microsoft advice people using these versions of Windows to finally upgrade to Windows 10 or Windows 11. Like I was telling you people. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, that's easier said than done for many people. However, whether it's because their hardware doesn't meet the new system requirement are because upgrading isn't up to them but the looming end of support for Windows 7 and 8.1 both of which Microsoft plans to stop updating on January 10th 2023 meaning those ob obstacles will have to be overcome sooner than later anyway and it says here Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 users will have another option though. Microsoft says file can be uploaded and downloaded via OneDrive web app. They just won't automatically sync via the platform native applications. It's also note that these changes apply to consumer versions of OneDrive. Support for business version will be aligned with the Windows support lifecycle. The company says which says which suggests Windows 7 and 8.1 will be supported until 2023. And that's the end of the article. So for all you for all you uh, OneDrive uh, uh, users on Windows 7 for Windows 7, Windows 8 and 8.1 uh, your your date is March March first, twenty 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 two, okay. But Microsoft will uh uh Microsoft will uh will support it says here it says this for the business version though it says for the business version will align with Windows support lifecycle. The company suggests Windows seven and 8.1 will be supported until 2023 
and that's for business. So for you, for you users out there that are using Windows 7 and 8, um, the time, you know, it, it, it's time to upgrade, you know. Go to Windows 10 and Windows, uh, Windows 11. If you, if you have like two desktops in your house, have one running Windows, uh, win, one running Windows 10 and one running Windows uh, 11, you know, and, um, and then go from there, you know, because uh, Mike, you know, whenever a new operating system come out from Microsoft, it, uh, you know, things like this always happens, you know, they have to move on. Um, they're trying to keep, they're trying to keep up with the time, you know, you know, keep up with the, keep, keep up with the, keep up with the time, you know, and um, the, and the speed of the internet, so, and this is about improving the, always keeping the, always improving the infrastructures of Windows. So that, that's why they always come out with a new operating system, you know, so, because, you know, um, uh, you know, times change, uh, you know, you know, the computer industry change on a year to year basis, businesses change, so they're trying to meet the demands, you know, of today, whenever they come out with a new operating system, so. It's nothing personal against you. It's just they, they just trying to keep up keep keep up keep stay ahead of the game with with, with Windows, you know. That's what they're doing. So um, for 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 people who have used uh, Windows say XP, Windows two thousand, or Windows Vista, you know, you, you have been used to these changes before so it's nothing it's nothing it should be nothing new to you personally. If, if you've been, if you've seen these changes before, uh, this is just the way Microsoft does business. You know, it just it's time is is um it's time to upgrade. And um, if you're going from um if you're going from Windows uh say Windows seven and eight and eight point one to say ten, you always want to get the upgraded version of the of the professional edition or the upgraded version um of the home version of Windows 10 or uh, Windows 11 but if you're but if you're like if you're like a system administrator then you want to get the, uh, the full the professional version of uh, the full version of uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11 and go from there you know so <clears throat> and then if you're if you're home if, if you have the home version of Windows 7 and 8 and 8.1 then um, get get the uh, Get the upgraded home version of Windows 10 and Windows 11, and then go from there. So that's how that, that's how it works, you know. And w w when it comes to Windows, you know, if, you, if if let's say you got if you got XP, and you're trying to go to Vista, then you will get the the home version, the the home version, the uh, home upgrade upgraded version of Windows Vista, and then go for, and then go from there, you know. So. That's how that's how upgrades work with uh with PCs. So if you're if you're using Windows 7, Windows 8 <clears throat> for the OneDrive, it's time to upgrade. You know, go to Windows 10 uh, or Windows 11. You know, but when when you're using um a Windows operating system, it's good to have two desktops, one running the latest version of Windows. And one running the uh, the older version, less one running Windows uh, 11, and then one running Windows 10, and that way you're um, you're you're uh, you're getting the best of both worlds, you know. So because support for Windows 10 uh, ends in a uh, year uh, 2020, I think 20 uh, 2025, you know. So you got that's when Microsoft will stop supporting it. You know? So you got another what? Today's what, 2021? So 2022, 2023, 2024, uh, and then 2025. So you got like another four years before Microsoft pulls the plug, pulls the plug on Windows 10, you know? And when they do that, that means Windows probably 12, Windows 12 will be coming out after that. So now you're gonna have to deal with Windows 11 and then Windows 12, so. Be, 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 be ready for that when that time comes. But um, but that's just the way Microsoft, you know, does you know, stay stay ahead of the curve and 
and ahead of the game with their new operating systems. You know, they, they have to keep the keep the business moving. You know, and keep and keep and keep the users. Um, it's all about protecting users' data too. You know, network security, all that. You know, help businesses out to make when they come up with a new operating system. They're trying to make you know make business make 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 the work easier for businesses whether big medium or small you know or corporate <laughs> you know so um, that's how Microsoft is and it helps it helps uh, it helps uh, whatever business whatever it's in education uh, tech wherever you know um, <clears throat> uh, Microsoft is just trying to keep make make life easier for people whenever they come out with a new operating system so keep up with the, the traffic flow and the and the demands of the internet. So that's how that's that's how they are when it comes to Windows uh, when it comes to Windows operating system. So um, don't take it personal. Don't <clears throat> don't take it personal. You know? Whenever whenever they announce <clears throat> whenever they announce um, a new operating system, you always want to be ready for, you always want to be ready to make changes. You know? You know, life is all about changes, so you have to be, you, you have to, re you have to be ready to make adjustments, you know, or prepare for adjustments, you know, so that's the best way to go about it when it comes to these, uh, to these Windows operating system. It's the same way with Mac OS, you know, when Apple comes out with a new operating system, the Apple users have to make adjustments, you know, or, or, or being prepared for it. It's the same thing with Linux, you know. Whenever our new operating system, new versions of Linux come out, people have to make adjustments, you know. So don't take it personal, you know. And don't be looking like, oh, well, you know, they're just making money and all that. No. It's about helping you, you know. So um, don't make it personal, man. You know, Microsoft is helping the world with, with, with Windows, okay. They are, they're helping the, they're helping the, the world. The world benefits from Windows. The world benefits from Linux. And the world benefit from uh, from uh, from Apple uh, from Mac OS. So whenever they come out with a new operating system, be ready to make adjustment. You know, don't just sit there being stagnant and then think, you know, this you you got one operating system and that's it. No, the world doesn't work like that. <laughs> got to keep moving. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is this. Um, leave a link in the description box with this article. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Poor Darkseid. Go. Peace. <clears throat>